Okay, this is, yeah, this is after we got the helmet. Because that's ice. That's more ice. That's more aluminum. I mean, I guess we can go insane. We have an option here. It's not a good option. But I might go with it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just just making like little kind of checkpoints and eventually maybe even having like a fast travel system between them. Uh, I think would work better than these like consumable oxygen things. Like I think these should be like a logical step, but you shouldn't spend more than like X amount of time in the game like shackling yourself to uh, to such consumable resources. Unless, of course, they really want you to, like, feel rushed and you're like, yeah, shit, I'm running out of things. Which I guess is actually an appreciable... Oh, I, I need oxygen candles for these. Maybe I shouldn't be, uh, squandering them as much as I have been. You can recharge them, so whatever. Yeah, kind of. Uh, it's, it's mainly kind of one of those where, like, I want to make a forward op operating base in the, uh... In the paint area, so I can, like, you know... Come back and use that. Use that to. There we go. There we go. Uh, so I can actually like use that as a resource base, and so I don't have to. Whenever I run out of supplies, I don't have to run out of or immediately run home and be like, "Well, time to time to try this again." Other things that would be kind of nice would be like um, uh, a grav sled, just you know, like a basic hand cart that you effectively have falling behind you as uh, so your inventory space gets a little bit larger. Automated like mining drones. I don't know. I'm just like spitballing ideas because it's like there's a lot of cool things here, but I, I feel like uh, they should be really giving you an insane number of options instead of being super limited with it. Right, I should probably actually grab oxygen here. Still kind of disappointed I can't mine that paint and use it for things. I guess we still also have to figure out where the, uh, the lead is. Okay, well, let's save. Gas reclamation would actually be... like a neat tech. Like... You know, initial, initially you have no no means of reclaiming oxygen, so it just, you know, you breathe it in, you breathe it out, and then eventually you run out. Um, but, like, it would be cool if, like, when you get the upgraded helmet, it, it uh, slowly, like, whenever you run out of oxygen, you create a CO2. Eh, maybe not. But effectively, like, eventually you would get a tech that more or less just means you can be out in space. Uh, for an extended period of time because of oxygen scrubbers instead of the giant conda balloon. Who knows, maybe we'll actually get there and we're just in the super, like, limited version. A large accumulation of toxic colorant has been discovered. If you find a container with this substance, you may receive irreversible brain damage and also improve the anti-radiation protection of the spacesuit. Okay. So I'm gonna get as far in as I can, give or take. I feel like the scope of this game isn't expressed well. Yeah, it would actually be kind of nice to have a, a general idea of, like, how big it is? Subnautica, you always knew it was huge, but it looks like this might be kind of small. I don't know. Whatever. We'll figure it out as we go, we go further. I can guarantee that. It looks like a tank with paint. Oh, it does. Okay, so two, two paint. Not great. I think that's all we need. But I'm going to get a little bit more. Okay. Now, let's explore for a bit. Oh, there's just paint floating around out here. Cool. What are these? As far as I can tell, nothing. Okay. Of 
for you. Lead. Lead. Okay. Uh, let's, let's reload for a second. Okay. So let's go find one of these weird spiny ball looking things. There's one. Um, I wouldn't mind exploring further in this area, but we found our lead as well. Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch, in fact. And I'm within an easy flight of that oxygen thing. Okay, there's some oxygen. Let's go back to that. But yeah, so now we've got lead, so we can get radiation protection. Next order of business is... Actually, I'm not really sure. Okay, so we're gonna save again. We've got plenty of oxygen for a bit. I'm gonna go on a dumb adventure. How much time do we have? We got plenty. So, main thing is, I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do yet. We've been trying to crank up our radiation protection here so we could potentially go into the ship? It might just be one of those where I have to just beeline straight for it. Because there's a couple of other places to go. So am I just supposed to head for that? It looks too far away, though. Also, is it just me or does that planet look real sketchy? Like, I'm gonna run out of oxygen here. I, I already know that. Let's reload again. Um... Okay, next, next thing I was just gonna check out at this point, I'm reloading, so I just don't have to squander resources on trying to see exactly uh, what's ahead. I actually don't know where I'm supposed to go. This is why I was kind of talking about the idea of, like, forward operating bases and stuff. Because uh, it feels like there's a very definitive, like, almost linear nature to this level. Um... And I, I can't actually tell where I'm supposed to go. Because this is, this is all paint. I'm just going to shove my head in here and look at it. And we'll leave. A lot of reloading in this game. Yeah, I'm just cheesing things. Because I, I will play a lot more seriously when the game actually fully comes out. There's nothing in here. Um. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm reloading because... Can I just press... No, I was really hoping I could just press R to uh, auto-fly in a direction. Because at this point, we've actually seen almost everything that there is to see in this area. There's that frozen orb over there, which is my next uh, next course of action. The last thing, honestly, if I can't figure anything out, else out, is actually just um, is charging for the glowy bit while I've got the uh, the full suit. Which I think I should be able to make the full suit. But yeah, when, when the game fully comes out and has, like, ships that you can make and, like, everything else, I will absolutely play legitimately. Um, you know, less with the reloading, less with what the, with the, with the scum tactics. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't want to waste my resources flying in direction only to find out, hey, it's just a dead end filled with paint. Okay, so let's fill right back up. Yeah, like, it would be cool if you could actually upgrade these things to slowly regenerate oxygen. Uh, you know, have, like, a little algae farm attachment that you stick, uh, stick to it. Like, that would be neat. 
Yeah, there's actually not a whole lot out here. At first I was like, oh boy, this is gonna be huge. And it's like, no, no, it's actually reasonably small. Um, but yeah, I was hoping for more containers like that one down there that had the uh, the oxygen station in it. Like, how cool would it be if you like found an empty room and you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna put down a, a, a effectively, I'm going to, you know, slap down like a, a portable airlock and like some base bits, some storage containers, and you know, have this be a new forward operating base. I'm really hung up on the idea of these forward operating bases because I love, I love it when I can do that in games. Okay, well let's uh, let's upgrade the suit. Can I? Lead paint, roll of fabric. Okay, well that's that's easy. Resources, deposit resources. Okay, so let's just make a couple. And then the roll of fabric, and then I I don't know if I've missed the jet booster upgrade. I might have. I might not have. We want to grab roll of roll of fabric. Uh, let's see equipment. Okay, so now we have the enhanced spacesuit. Do we? Oh, I didn't finish. Due to the high toxicity level of the renewed painting of the spacesuit, the probability of your death from radiation is now lower than the probability of death from the suit itself. In this regard, you can fly to the evacuation point. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. Uh, we need food and water. Oops, wrong direction. Okay. So we want to make some more oxygen candles. Uh, let's see. Equipment items. Okay, cool. I can actually make quite a lot of these. Which is good. We're going to need a number. Do I not have... Oh, no. I got plenty of metal. Okay. I was worried that I'd run out. But no, it looks like this game is, is a lot shorter than the... Uh, than the depth of resources. I just don't want to go out of my way to go grab them. But yeah, so we're gonna make a, a number of these, and I'll show off why in a second. Okay, so we got we got that. Uh, let's go over to this corner. We've got the back scratcher, which is useless. I don't know if the eyeball's useful. I'm gonna dump off the paint over here. The nice part is there's no there's no penalty. Uh, let's grab the booze. I'm gonna need that for something. Uh, let's see. Okay, objects, station. So I just need to grab whatever aluminum I've got. I don't have any. The shuttle I don't got caught much. in some larger debris. Lucky. I swear I had a lot more aluminum, like I went on a spree to make a ton of this stuff. Maybe I needed it for my, uh... Maybe I needed it for my, uh, suit or something and I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I bet I don't... I, I bet this is going to be too much and not enough space. How big are these? Freaking massive. 4x4, four four, 16 slots. I have... 4... Eight. I've got significantly less. Okay, well, let's drop off the lead and the plastic. We're not going to need that. We probably don't need the shears or the grabber at this point. Not for what I'm doing. We definitely don't need the wires. Okay, and... Jeez, I do not need that many condoms. I'm fairly certain human-chicken hybrids are impossible. Otherwise, we'd have a couple at this point. Okay, there's one. I guess let's... Toss off the booze. There we go. Okay. Objects, stations. Let's make another oxygen station here. Okay, so this gives me a little bit of space. Grab water. 
I mean, at this point, pretty much the only things I need are water and food, I think. All right, and uh, let's drop off the refined metal. Let's drop off the metal. Well, I don't need them, but just to play it safe, let's grab that and uh, grab this picture. There we go. All right, saving. I actually have no idea where the evacuation point is, to be totally honest. They never marked it. Right? Yeah, it doesn't look like they ever marked it. I'm just gonna head for that big blue ball and we'll see what happens. If you explode your body, flesh can be noticed by rescuers, and you become my hero. Because that's, that's too far away. Does anybody see anything else that looks like a rescue point around here? Because I don't. I think you're doing exactly what you should be doing, slowly branching out. Yeah, I I agree. I'm just, uh, I'm mostly just confused because now I don't have a waypoint of where the rescue point was supposed to be. I guess we could actually, let's stop for a second. Let's save. Let's check. Okay, uh, messages. Wait, tasks. Oh god, did I never finish it? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, double oh no. I... I think I know why I don't know what to do. It's because I never actually finished... I don't think I ever actually finished the objective. I made the crap that the developer wanted me to make. Um... And so, I've just been flying semi-blind because I missed a step. It told me to make it, but it never actually told me where to put it, necessarily. So I'm like, I made it, har har. Now what? And I think... I think I just foolishly assumed that there, there just was nothing. I hit the end of it, and then we just had all the tools we needed to escape. But I, I think I messed up. But it is possible. It could be past the rescue ship graveyard. I'm gonna go double-check with the, uh the piece of junk and see if I can get that working. If I can, awesome. If I can't, then we just reload, go back to that point, and just, um... Uh... If we can't get it working, then we just... Uh, or... No, if we can't get it working, we progress through whatever story there is. And if we can't, then we just go check what the big sphere is and see what see what's there. Okay, so I made I made the junk. Where is the junk? It, there's the crap imposed by the developers. All right, so let's grab that. What? All right. Yeah. So I guess I had to the lift this thing up. The is complete. Having drained your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. Okay, so we can hit ourselves or install. Ow. I. It's a dick. Well, considering this toilet is about as useless as you can get. Yep, it's just a giant wong. Wang? Whatever. Of course. So yeah, I, I needed to craft that thing to actually continue. Uh, further in the game. 
Probably shouldn't have hit myself so many times, but whatever, I'll live. Alright, uh, let's see. I've still got a decent amount of water and food, I think. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of water left. Well, I can make more if I have to. Okay, so he said he'd mark the rescuers, and there, there they are. So I think we've got what we need. We've got enough uh, food and water to make the trip. Let's... Let's just head over this direction. So why did you have to craft the giant wang? Um... To map our, our electrical impulses in our brain, I guess? I'm not actually really sure about that one. Like, it was arbitrary as far as I can tell, but mainly, I mean, it's called crap that the developers imposed upon you. So, bit on the nose. Question mark. Well, let's head over there. We might actually be done with this in a, in a short bit, which, you know, I'd actually appreciate beating effectively a game in one go. I... It does mean that we'll have to shelve this series for a while, because they're adding a story mode and, like, a sandbox mode. Uh, and I'd love to see how that would go. Um, but I don't think that's going to be available by the time this game comes out in, like, a week. It's, like, a week or a couple of days or something like that. But, um... You know. Okay, there we go. Still plenty of oxygen at this station, which is good. We're gonna be blind as hell, but that's fine. Okay, so we we save again. And let's go back. This reminds you of Subnautica, but in space. Yeah. I I agree. It it does have that Subnautica E feel. Um the kind of stranded alone in a hostile place. With no with limited supplies, you go out, you gra you gather stuff, you bring it back. Uh, but you're actually working towards a story, and so you could treat it like just a complete sandbox game, or you can actually, like, kind of finish it. And I, I like this sort of, um... I like this sort of system. I think it, I think this is much more compelling than, you know, just truly, like, go out and survive and good luck. So is Space Station Extension and Vehicle Building in the game yet? I don't think so. No. The presence of such an amount of cooling gel is strange. Such a composition was outdated more than 10 years ago and is not produced on any planet. Yeah, we should be able to make this. I got three oxygen stations. Okay. I'll just save at each one just in case I make like a critical error. Or it turns out I don't have enough so I don't have to fly back as fast. Otherwise, we just give ourselves unlimited oxygen and just go, you know, wild. Hopefully, there's like a checkpoint in here, because, like, how, I uh, what's a what's a good example of a game? I guess honestly, uh, I I would love the it if this game is detected ahead. The evacuation should be led from there, but there are no signals or movement detected in this area. Probably everyone died. It would be neat if this kind of had. I'd almost say, as weird as it sounds, the We Happy Few system of, like, the hatches. I like the hatches in We Happy Few. I didn't like the rest of the We Happy Few that much. It was, like, halfway between a, a good uh, story mode game and a, a bad survival game. But, you know, say if, like, we got up here and then there was, like, another base that we could actually work, work with and, like, expand upon and stuff. Oh god, as weird as it sounds, a survival sandbox metroidvania, where you effectively... Oh, I see you next to your captain's bridge. It's fine. Communication with the bridge is not there. All died. To access the bridge, you'll need the code ADMIN123. There's a button with the inscription, kill all passengers. If you press it, only do not this be scared. The incorrect okay. localization sounds extremely convincing. The information on the captain's bridge is classified in the database. Therefore, it is recommended to ignore this value of advice and act according to the situation. Well, I want to read that, but unfortunately it went away too fast. And unfortunately, I think if I open up my menu, I will... Well, you know what? Screw it. Let's go actually, uh... Let's actually go read this. Uh, was it... It was messages. There we go. Messages. From Babe. 
Kill all the passengers. If you press it, only do not be scared. She does not kill anyone. It is just the wrong localization of the game. I wait for help and hope of for, hope for yours. Okay. So. Yeah. I hate the fact that it does not pause while you're in the menu. Because I wanna, I wanna actually be able to like read messages and stuff that I've missed. Yeah, there's nothing out here, so we're we're at the end. Yeah, so I guess all of my complaints earlier are kind of meaningless because this is just kind of like a, a short little linear demo thing. Um, but yeah, to complete my idea about the, the idea of like a, uh, a Metroidvania survival game, as stupid as this sounds, it's broken up into like a bunch of regions, kind of like um the loan. Uh, the Lone Dark, but like a little bit more um, structured, maybe? Uh, maybe a little bit less like endless, and a little bit more just like there's actually a reason for what you're doing. And so you're, you have like a couple of different regions. You start in one, and then you eventually get the ability to go to the next region, build a base there, use that as like a staging point. The captain's bridge so was forth. badly damaged, but the main systems are still functioning properly. Okay. I'm just gonna put this down so I don't have to worry about anything. And save. Anything that I can interact with in here. The door is locked. If you manage to get inside, there is a chance to send a distress signal to the nearest planet, or at least take the course with the captain who allowed this to happen. No pa no power. Need a handy scrapper to repair. Our supply is back. Admin, one, two, three. We really wrote that. Okay, an ordinary key from some cheap lock. You can open it or close something with it. Or can you lose it and open the lock with your finger? It's strange. It's strange that the Captain's Bridge is locked with such a piece of junk. Okay. Need a key. Why do I have to equip the key? Please wait. System loading. Welcome aboard, Captain. Systems act system active. Engines activate. Blast off. What? Go figure we crashed. Seems it will be a long day. I just had to turn on the face cam, just so you guys could kind of see my reaction. I tried to keep it as frozen as possible, but that was the face when the ship just left without us. I was like, oh, this is gonna end bad. And the answer is it did end bad. It just ended worse than I was expecting. All right. Well, uh, this was actually like a fun little game. I, I actually rather enjoyed it. I mean, obviously it's nowhere even close to done, not even not, not not anywhere close. But for like a, a geez, a two hour little kind of taste of what the game actually will be. Um, I'm excited to see what the final result will be. I have no idea if this is going to be what the, uh, what the game is going to be when it comes out. Because uh, this comes out in a couple of days. And this is the key they gave me. But they didn't send me any other information, I don't think. So this might just be everything that's going to be available, and then we'll um, we'll just have to wait for them to add more, which is always a little bit dodgy. But hopefully, hopefully this is just some kind of like uh, extended demo thing to show off the game. Uh, it also seems to have maybe frozen at the end of the credits, or the credits are longer. I don't know. It's a little jank. It played well. Okay, there we go. But yeah, play. Uh, let's do. Yeah. So we have standard mode. 
Best game mode is a moderate one. Story. Emphasis on the storyline. Infinite parameters, but death is possible. Impossible and free. Okay. So it's not that there's different modes to this game. It's just, you know, different difficulties. And we can rename it as well. Well, let's ex exit out of this. Let's actually pull up the, the Steam page uh, and take a look at it. The artists were chicken breeds. That's adorable. Okay, so it'll be out in five days. And let's look at the early access game thing here. I'm going to pull it up on display capture so you can see as well. Perfect. Okay, so why early access? Obviously, how long will it be in early access? Uh, released as soon as we complete the main story and polish the project until it shines brightly. Uh, assumed within a, you know, year and a half, give or take. So full version, multiple languages, objects crafting, little details. It'll be a full-fledged game with a perfect... Choice to play with your mother watching if you'd like to survive a week or two under house arrest. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so the first story chapter is implemented in the game. It's already a full-fledged part of the game, almost in final quality, with all the necessary mechanics to play the game. Uh, in the first chapter, there's no personal transport and no construction ava available because the main character is just at the very beginning of his journey. Still doesn't know much. These opportunities, as well as many other new mechanics, will become available with the next chapters. New chapters will come out as large updates right up to the release. Don't worry, we're not planning on the DLCs. Got it. Okay, so the price will go up. As, as we'll become greedy and arrogant. There's a chance we won't become greedy and arrogant, though the price will still get higher. Over the release of new chapters and early access, the price will, uh, the game will gradually increase. Okay. Makes sense. And that's it. Yeah, so it looks like the Wait, hold on. Is this is this the whole trailer? Let's just let this run. Nope, this is boring. We've already seen this. So we got to see the uh We got to see chapter 1 of this game, which you know if that's the case, I'm fine with that, especially if we like eventually get the ability to craft and like build bases and stuff like i'm i'm looking forward to that there we go let's just let this run for a little while uh but i don't know i'm excited this is enjoyable i i liked the intro to the game i hope they actually voice babe or something like that uh just to just to keep it going uh just to keep it going just to make it feel a little bit more streamlined or something hell i'd take like text to speech generators or something like that but uh I don't know. As far as, like, humorous, semi-survival story-based games, this definitely does what We Happy Few doesn't. And for me, uh, that's kind of exciting. Anyway. Uh, so is this early access on the 13th? Yes. So you guys will get access to the effectively two-hour-long Chapter 1 that I played earlier. And, uh... Earlier? Over the course of this night. And, uh, I don't know. It was fun. I'd probably caution everybody to pick this up when it actually like fully comes out because that'll be the good version of the game but uh i don't know i guess we'll just play it whenever they add new chapters and we'll see how it develops from there i don't know anyway thanks for watching and uh on to the next new game